and I'll take you along. That's not poo on my finger. So the layout of the van, we were originally gonna have a bed across the back of the van, across the two doors. But then looking at the DVLA website, it has like specifications of what you have to have in the van to be able to class the van as a camper. And I'd like to class the van as a camper with the DVLA because you can get ins like special insurance for it, contents insurance for everything inside. And you can also go into low emission zones for free, I believe. So I'd like to stick by the rules as best as I can for once in my life. So instead of putting the bed across the back, we toyed with a few ideas um, of having a pull-out bed on either side in the kitchen across the bulkhead. Um, but then I decided that the best way to do it would be to have the kitchen across the back of the van so that the water and the gas access, I could access it from the the back doors or I could access it from the inside which just makes it a hell of a lot easier I think it was going to make it a hell of a lot easier anyway I've not done it before so we'll have to see um anyway I'm going to run you through the plans I'm going to have an l-shape sofa here and um, this is the sliding door an L-shaped sofa there that pulls out into a bed with storage underneath both pieces. Um, and then across the back here, I'm going to have the electrics in a little unit here. Um, you've got the toilet here under a seat. So if you did like have people round, obviously not in the current situation. But if you did have people round once COVID is over... Um, someone could sit here, other people can sit around here and you can still access the toilet if the bed is pulled out, which I really like the idea of. I'm going to have the fridge under here with workspace on top and then I'm going to have a gas cooker here and a sink here, um, which means there's just a nice lot of space underneath that for all the water and the gas. Um, and then I'm also going to have a little shelf that will fold up onto the wall here and pull down if I need more um, workshop space. The van doors open there, you can get to everything, get to your waste, get to your water, get to your gas. And also I really like this plan because in England it rains a lot so with the bed like this the sofa like this, even if it's raining outside, I can still sit in the van and enjoy the view out the window. Electrical plan. So the solar panels are gonna go on the roof of the vehicle, of course. The heater, this was the heater was gonna go here, but the heater is now gonna go over in this cabinet that's gonna go here. The leisure battery is going to stay over here, but we're going to run all the cables in a pipe under the floor to this side and have the fuse box and all the main switches over here with USB ports and car lighter ports. I'm going to have six lights. Um, I think we've decided that we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of having these two in the center. Um, but yeah, we've got a split charger going to go from the main battery into the leisure battery. And then that's going to go into all the other stuff, which I don't quite understand yet. But I will understand it when we do it. Because I'm a doer. <laughs> that's that. So anyway, as I said earlier, um, I've decided that I'm going to vlog as much of the conversion as I can because I want to be able to see, I want to be able to have something to look back on. And I'll take you along. That's not poo on my finger. 
black. That's wood stain. Um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next video. So. Would you like me to go? No, it's okay. You can stay. I'm playing a game on my, I, I just, my Jack Jones. I just speak a little bit and then it'll be fine. <laughs>